charge that the state charges the Lee County for the unemployment workers' comp costs for the year, and we end up charging the programs back for that also, and they pay us and we bring it back in as income. It's coming out of the grant name and it comes back in. The county, I broke that down into participating and non participating, but that's a total of $325,000. And if you look at the prior year fee income and the prior year administrative claiming income, this is what really has helped this budget this year. You see the regular fees are up 66980 and the majority of that is by records income. We'll look at that in a second when we go over the fee charts. The administrative claimings, we've talked about that I think at the other board meetings, but that's money the state gives us for administrative, it's Medicaid money that we get for the administrative services that we do at the Health Department. And we have to send information into the state. They put it in their big formula, calculate it then distribute that back out to all the different health districts. And that money, if you look in 2013, we only received 110,000 and we had, we were used to getting about 200,000 every year in that money and it went down and everybody questioned it so much and you know, all of us at the, at the meetings that something just didn't look right. We didn't understand how the money could have decreased. And so they did go back and look at their calculations and there were quite a few errors in the calculations at the state level. They, so they resubmitted those claims. So, Part of this 175 is money we probably should have gotten last year if the formula had been correct. But I, I'm going to tell you, I have been conservative on that number because they're, we should get paid, they pay us quarterly, and they've only actually given us the money for one quarter so far this year. They sent me a spreadsheet of what they'll pay me for the second quarter. But I, so I estimated getting one more quarter in by the end of the year. So really, that 175 is only about three quarters worth. I just, I don't want to do like I did last year and try to estimate it and it not come in at that amount. So if it does come in, either if I know by the end of the year I'll put the real numbers, if not, it'll be income for the next fiscal year. And that money we never know from year to year. Dr. Eames has talked about that before. That could go away. If it goes away, it going to be a big hurt in the health department. But we're hoping that we can keep that income. And then if you look at the last two numbers, that's just the, the prior year interest. I pull it out so you can see the interest income, but it's really a part of fund balance. Those two numbers together are 10,687, and that's what I project. And like I said, I've, I've been very conservative on the revenue numbers. I think they're going to be higher, but until we actually know the amounts, and if, and if we do, the one, one of the reasons that I'm hoping they do come in higher because I'm, I'm, worth, I'm just thinking about future years. If we start losing money, fee money in the vital records, if we start losing our administrative claiming money, I didn't want this budget filled on you know a higher revenue number than what we could support in future years. Do you have any 